In this lecture, we'll explore using the gamepad or controller for input to our Unity games. And while you don't have to have a controller like this, a rubberized razor controller with hyper-responsive buttons and thumbsticks for which you can set the resistance they provide to you, you can pretty much use any gamepad you want. And so let's just get to Unity and start learning how to do that. Changing the game so that we can move the character around with the gamepad is really easy because it already works that way. I didn't even show you this, but if we run the game, I'm now using my gamepad and I can move the character around using the gamepad. Why does it work that way? Over here in the input manager, Remember, the horizontal and vertical axes up here at the top are the ones that we've been using because they respond to keyboard keys. So down here for the second default horizontal and vertical axes, the horizontal axis is a joystick axis, specifically the X axis. So that's left and right on the joystick. And the vertical axis is the Y axis on the joystick axis. So that's up and down. And you'll notice this invert checkbox is checked. That makes it so that when we push up, we actually push the character up. Not everyone likes it that way, and you can change it so it works the other way if you'd like. I do want to point out that we can actually get finer grained control over character movement using the gamepad. So when I run the game, you can see that if I provide slight input on the joystick, I can move the character really slowly versus full speed. And the same, of course, with up and down and so on. So why does it work this way? Remember in the keyboard lecture, I said that if we were getting a keyboard input on a particular axis, that was basically negative one for left, zero for no input, and positive one for positive input. But for the gamepad, where we can deflect the joystick a little bit, it's actually in the range from negative one to positive one. So we can have input of negative 0.2, for example, if we're just slightly deflecting to the left. So using the gamepad gives us finer grain control over that character movement. Getting change character to work is a little more difficult because we actually have to do something to get it to work. And you'll notice that our change character input axis that we added a while ago now already has a positive button for the left mouse button and already has an alt positive button for the space key. So there's no third alt alt positive button that we can add for a joystick button. I'll change character by pressing A on my controller. But remember, we can have multiple axes named the same thing. So I will go up to the size and I'll change it to 20. And I'll come all the way down here and expand the new axis that it added. Now it's named change character, which is great. That's what I want it to be named. But I don't want to use mouse zero or space. So I will delete those. And for my positive button, I'll put joystick button zero which I happen to know is the A button. You can spend an inordinate amount of time messing around figuring out which buttons are which numbers if you'd like to do so. I will point out that the type is still a key or mouse button because this is a button, it's not a joystick axis. So now that I've done that, I can run my game and pressing the A button changes my character just like pressing the left mouse button or the space key did before. And that's it. We actually have done all our work here only using the input manager. We haven't had to change the code at all to get our gamepad input support for this pretty simple character moving and changing game. Before we end this lecture, you should go do an in-video quiz about using gamepad input in your Unity games. And to recap, we added gamepad controller input to our game without having to change any script code at all. All we needed to do was do some work in the input manager to get controller support into our game.